This is the chat right here on CTTV with me, Echo Kusin. You can find me on all social media platforms at PK underscore Kusin. Yeah, so the two busy videos that we saw before we, you know, came back to me, I was jamming to them. That was Mr. Drew featuring Medical with two shots. And I feel like this is going to be a Christmas banger. I, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I, I already have my Christmas banger for, for the year. And then also Fireboy DML with All of Us Be. Hmm. Yeah, All of Us Be Down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, our cocktail of the week is Vanny's Love, I mean, which has been influenced by our celebrity guest, Vanilla, and the ingredients are mango juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, sweet and sour syrup, and the special one, Good Day Energy Drink. You, know, you have to have one. All right, so going straight into our conversation for this week, yeah? We are talking about um, celebrities and their lifestyles, and also in relation to their followers. And this was coming off the back of what um, Delay had to say um, to a few ladies. I think it was a ladies conference and then she was there. And then she had this to say to some of the ladies who were there. And for some of us, we feel like she, she made some really strong statements, you know, and um, also called out our celebrities. But before we delve deeper into the conversation and everything that uh, we here have to say, let's take a look at what she had to say about this. There's a, a there's a certain craze for superficiality. I don't think that no bit me casting before I can say me go to chat up and pam. Since when did we get here? It is something I mean I can never do because like Ebia I don't know Ebia be a me. but maybe I'm not doing what no. My shirt I did with my shoe we open so we send a message a slip person I'm a shepherd now. I'm a very grounded simple me how me who we are say. I understand celebrities live come. Any pressure better go for some more them, no more to come to Dubai, no more car. And any pressure better young girls, no so. Almost a person wants to find it quite be a so. No more making no more to away from all this. And it will some of us have to use social media. No, and you can confirm so you know, you're my pan. Now, say, I say, a Dubai, be a basebe, sebe, sebe, and my best yet to make for that. Oh, we are now more forty thousand dollars. No, they are about a ton tidy design and order to social media. In two way, yeah, the bobra. And you, you, you know what I'm talking about. I say, video, by a lady be. Oh, that one a sebi sebi Arab way. Are you serious? I didn't know you were here to buy iPhone 14. I have four phones, no so I never go to a Bible one. It is the, the greatest manual in life. I send me a Bible account or say a real sitting one for Fedie. A trouble because who can talk Range Rover now or Chinobe the brand new? Into or Chinado Sanko. Now, got on a brand new old problem. Only a son would see us one and your brand new view. It's a real Sanka San. We can never keep up with the world. And yeah, 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 no, Kim Kardashian, more yeah, no, Marilyn Monroe, more yeah, in the fifties. Just like a ball, oh my yeah, just like a ball, no, yeah, or yeah, yeah, um, actress who's a influencer, you know, you can check her name on internet, Z S A Z S A. Or no, our warrior sika fui di kind. Or warrior sika niya. Or say when I leave a man, I leave with his ring in his house. Sika ni or warrior sika fui di jo musika. Eko wia si ano. Oni yeni chani na iba ko. Na oni ya ma fe na she was looking like what ya se basi wewe. Sebe sebe wa pray na no gumpa. Inti di e ni na e ni na ye gruntwa. Ya ni careful la. Ye be niya e japadi ni sika. Be a sign, one could you woo a coji a mani. Ye name be girls here, be a far one more bottom than saying, Mebuana. We want to send a cassa baby into a my wahano, Madame Fusissi can he be uncon and chain, wouldn't the source of money. And success is not sexually transmitted. Thank you, thank you. Key, key. Yes, so it's not sexually. The fact that you are sleeping with a rich man doesn't mean you'll be a rich woman. Work harder. 
key line, key line, success is not <laughs> sexually transmitted. Um, so all that Dilly was saying you was know, she was admonishing, admonishing the ladies to uh, move away from superficiality because of the way um, um, they look up to most of the female celebrities. And I don't want to make this conversation about female celebrities. I want to broaden the spectrum and make it about all celebrities or all um, socialites or all um, influencers. influencers, everyone that we, like the young ladies and the young guys that are coming up should not look at the lavish lifestyles that these people are living and all of a sudden want to um, live the same or live up to the same standard. So that's all she was saying. And she was making reference to some of the things that are happening elsewhere in the world and how they are giving people $40,000 to buy iPhone 14 and all of those things. I mean, I don't know how true those are, but these are the things that she had to say. Um, so coming back in studio to Tony and Adam, and I'll start with you, Adam, on this one. When you heard this, just tell me, how did you feel or how did you take this when you heard it? Uh, when I heard it, I mean, I, I played it back again. I was like, hey, Charlie, this one is like a sermon. <laughs> and I, 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 I liked it because mm. it is important we have these things going on. Mm. Because it's, it's becoming, I mean, very crazy and dangerous because... If you look at, we, we used to have the industrial revolution. Yeah. Then came the mass media revolution. Yeah. And now we are at the digital revolution. Mm -hmm. And the digital revolution has, I mean, brought about social media and a lot of things are uncensored there. Mm. If you look at, I mean, the, the kind of generation we have, most of the youth are on social media. and. Millennials spend about uh, nine, nine hours on, on social so media, on their, phones, yeah. on, on their phones always. And about 70% of them buy things by recommendation from their friends. So if you have a society with a lot of millennials and now the Gen, Z, the Gen Zs too are there, who are also technology savvy, and we have all of these people in, in the social media space, and the influencers coming up is, is dangerous. I mean, three years ago, the influencer space was estimated to, I mean, uh, become about 10 billion industry. Influen influencer space where people are giving money to promote things because they have the normals. Mm. I mean, so such, such huge money is coming into that space. A lot of people will do a lot Everything of things to possible. get noticed, yeah. to have the normals and to be able to grab a share of, of the cake. Mm -hmm. So if that becomes the case, they do not care the consequences of whatever they are posting. It's about how they're able to make a living, All right. especially so, under, mm -hmm. under this circumstance. So, I mean, if you look at such scenario, it is good that we do have sections where people who are in the water will come and tell us, I mean, what actually has happened under the water mm. so that those out there will, will, will have, I mean, an idea of what is going on there in order for them not to fall into, I mean, side things. All right. So hold it. So, Tony, um, this, this is a question I have for you, right? Okay. So do you think, let's say, female celebrities or male celebrities, or let's say put it in general, celebrities or socialites, are putting pressure on young people now with their lifestyle? Um, I'll say, I'll, I'll say, I'll say putting, they're putting pressure on young people. I think um, society in general is putting pressure on <laughs> um, um, the Gen Zs in mm -hmm. particular because time, times have changed. Yeah. Um, Ketsy of social media, you are, you are able to see exactly how people are living in various yeah. parts of the world. You are able to see um, even your, your own age mates, how they are living just get see your social, social media. media so yeah. definitely you are being influenced by one way or the other to want to also live um, a way. certain a certain lifestyle mm -hmm. so it's only fair or it's only normal that people look at celebrities celebrities or people that they look up to mm -hmm. and be influenced one way or the other by their their lifestyle choices and it's normal i i it's i, I don't see anything wrong with um 
that happen. It's 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 a natural um, a phenomenon. And and I think the main concern here is for uh, people to have at the back of their minds that not everything that you see on social media is real. Okay. Or not everything that you see is is true. You might see. Um, a, uh, a celeb driving a, uh, a particular car, they, they might not necessarily own it. Yeah. It could be as a result of some brand endorsement or some influen mm -hmm. influencer deal they've mm -hmm. signed or mm -hmm. it could be simply for a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean that they own it and that you also need to try and, and, and get that. Mm -hmm. Although, I mean, in, as humans are, as we are, we all look out for certain things that become motivational um, factors for us mm. we all want to have certain things on our vision boards yes so you see someone that you look up to live in a, live a certain lifestyle and you say okay i want to live like that so then you you now think of ways working towards achieving that mm -hmm. but that is basically the challenge it's all all what you see on social media basically isn't real okay so my question to you and then i'll come to you adam is listening to what delay said she was quote unquote or in a light way trying to put the blame at the doorstep of celebrities or female celebrities yeah. and say that I mean what we sh they shouldn't follow them but if I am a celebrity and I feel like I want to sleep in the plush hotel in let's say Dubai and you do not have the means but you also want to do same should I be blamed for it no basically no uh, I look we all we all have certain things that give us self-gratification, mm -hmm. right? So if I've worked, I've worked the entire year and I can afford to spend a week in wherever, right? Yeah. And I decide to also for my own self-gratification post it on social, social media. media yeah? It doesn't necessarily mean I'm deliberately influencing people to also go, go and do that. At the end of the day, what I could be doing could serve as motivation for someone to Else. also exactly. Um, exactly. work harder or want to. Because I've seen there are people I look up to and I see them do certain things. I'll be like, okay, I, I also want to go here. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to name names, but I see I see certain certain things or, um, I mean, and I'm like, I also want to experience this, you know. So it's not necessarily... Um, on the f no fault of the celebrity, but I think mm -hmm. why the reason why we have the, we are having this conversation basically has to do with the fact that we need to be able to differentiate between what is real and what is fake, and mm -hmm. what is extreme and what is normal. Yeah. Because yes, some of our people do take it a bit overboard, and then it then puts pressure on some younger people who also want to. Um, I mean, enjoy those or experience those things, oblivious of the fact that it takes work mm -hmm. to get there. You might not know exactly what some of these celebs have actually been able to do for themselves to be able to enjoy these lives. It doesn't necessarily mean that everybody that goes to Dubai, um, be, be it a celebrity or not, is going to in, indulge in some form of... Yeah. Um, bad activity bad or, activity yeah. to enjoy their life yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean anybody driving a fast car is involved in some some bad activity yeah. to be able to mm -hmm. enjoy that there are people who are actually um putting in work and achieving things for themselves i mean what, what are we going through all the hustle, the hustle and bustle of our lives mm. basically to enjoy a good life yeah. right so if i've worked hard I've, I've made some money and i decide to buy an expensive car and for some reason it ends up on the internet it doesn't necessarily mean i'm a bad person it doesn't necessarily mean i'm showing off mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. if i've been able to um i mean catch the eye of um a, a big hotel and they say oh we, we you know you have a million followers on social media come and spend a weekend uh, a weekend here and post yeah. on your on your social media yeah. so that people would also want to visit the, this place it doesn't mean i'm a bad person all I, right it's I work, basically. Yeah. Good. So, um, Adam, I, I'm not trying to say what Delay was saying or what Delay is saying is not um, like, like she shouldn't make that point. But what are the positives that you would um, say that celebrities should try to do to put, to not put their followers in risk of trying to live their lifestyle? I mean, that is, that is a good example right mm -hmm. there with what Delay was, uh, was doing. I mean, because they know what goes into some of the lifestyles that we see them put up, mm. they also have a certain responsibility to be able to help 
I mean, decode, help, I mean, the youth or young people appreciate and decode the steps so that they will not be in haste to, to, to get there. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, because of what they have been able to attain, mm -hmm. they, are, they are very powerful. Yeah. And if they are using that power to sell products, mm -hmm. I mean, they can use that same power to also help the, their followers appreciate the rudiments of, of, of whatever they are seeing so mm -hmm. that they do not live a certain life. I mean, in, the 19, in 1990, American basketball player uh, Magic Johnson Magic, yeah. uh, had HIV. Yeah. And after announcing that he has been diagnosed of AIDS and that uh, you have to take precaution and add this, there was a very sad rise in the use of condom among the blacks and the Hispanics. That was the level of influence. I mean, that, that message brought to the people. So you can use that power you have to help, I mean, people understand that this, and, and I, I adore some of them. Mm. When they, they post, they will let you know that this I'm wearing is by this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. my car is by this. Mm. This by I mean, they break it down for you to be able to appreciate the, the process. So, and um, I'm I'm asking. Sorry for cutting you, but I'm asking. So should I deprive myself of good things because of what my followers are going? No, to no, do? no. You are, you are not depriving yourself yeah. of good things. You you can continue like this, but you you need to avail yourself for for conversation like okay. what delay is doing because there are some of them when. Maybe a youth forum is happening, and I mean they try to call them. They they they, they become difficult. It yeah, becomes difficult for them. They are hesitant yeah. to show up. I mean they need to avail themselves for society, mm -hmm. avail themselves for schools, mm -hmm. tertiary institution, so that they, they they will be able to break down some of these things for them. I mean they have a responsibility because when the society is corrupted, and the youth and the followers are no more. Who are you going to sell the product to? So, in as much as you have every right to, I mean, show off or sell every product you have to share, I mean, you need to be part of societal change. You need to be part of shaping the society so that it will become like a benefit we are deriving from you because society mm -hmm. consumes a lot mm -hmm. and we need to filter. Yeah. And with, with such, I mean attitude and such uh, 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 responsibilities, gradually, whatever they have taken in could be filtered in a way to save, I mean, some aspects of, of the people. So right. they should avail themselves right. to, 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 so, to preach on um, some of these things. Um, Tony, in wrapping up, what, um, how far do you think celebrities, fans of celebrities, should go in drawing inspiration from them? How far? Like, how far is too far? That, that's, a, that's a tricky question to, um, to respond. I, I think, um, I'll say, I'll say every, everyone has what they want to achieve in life. Mm. And if you look up to a particular celebrity, you should be able to identify their, their, their strengths, mm -hmm. basically, and what, be able to see the positive things they've been able to do for themselves and take inspiration from there. The journey is never the same for every, everybody. Exactly. I mean... Someone could make it overnight. Someone could be fortunate enough to <laughs> get the blessing of someone else mm. uh, or be fortunate enough yeah. to, to land some good fortune somewhere mm. or have someone give them a, a little bit of a push. Others too might have to take the long route. And it's important that once you identify your path, you are consistent and persistent. And basically, that's what we, you, you need to take away from the lives of all our, our celebrities because it's not easy. Even even carrying the, the tag on your shoulder as a celebrity is not easy. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I'm not, constant I'm not, work. Const, constant work. I'm not, I, I'm not going to mention names, but couple, a couple of years ago, I actually um, was fortunate enough to be in, in a car of one female celebrity, a very big female celebrity. And in the car, she had outfits for days. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Tony, you see, the girls who see us and they don't understand that this is what we have to, d to deal with. From here, I'm going here. From here, I'm going there. I have to go on set. I have to go and do this. I have mm. uh, an interview here. There's basically no rest for me. 
but someone will see will, will see me and say, "Oh, I have it easy," or yeah, yeah. "I mean, I'm enjoying a, a, a lavish life," and and will not see the work I'm putting into making sure that I stay afloat in in this space. So basically, that's the motivation we need to take from our celebrities, and it's it's a challenge. Mm. But like Adam said, uh, I mean, these celebrities also owe to their audience to find a way to communicate to them the truth yes honest be honest about some of these things there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with you posting a car and making sure that you tell your fans that this is uh, an sponsored endorsement one, deal yeah. or this is an uh, a sponsored mm, um, mm, mm. there's nothing wrong with telling your fans that you are on a sponsored vacation as a matter of fact i think it's a big it's a big uh, brag yeah. yeah to say that someone paid for my trip you sure. know I, I i would love to go on a sponsored trip and say they paid for it yeah, you know yeah, yeah. so i think we, the the it's important that the celebrities also owe um owe to their fans they need to communicate to them the truth yeah, and be yeah. honest about some of these things and i think it will go a long way to help shape shaping and help them uh, deciding on how far to go in terms of taking inspiration from them all right thank you guys thank you very, very much you guys and um i mean it's been a very very beautiful conversation i really appreciate i mean your thoughts on this one um in as much as you look up to these celebrities, yeah. you should know how far you need to go with taking inspiration from them. These people also shouldn't deny themselves of enjoying the good things of life because they really worked hard for all of these things. So um, it's it's a it's two-way thing. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch my back. So let's really, really be measured in how much we want to live the lifestyle of these celebrities because nobody becomes a, a, a rich man or... A, a big man overnight. You need to really work hard for it. And these celebrities, they've really worked hard for it. So please, we the youth, let's be measured. And when we are measured, we'll be able to enjoy our lives.